on here at Canva Sands. We're just testing some NLGs back to back, the 14 and the 16. Last year we rode the 14 um, in about five miles an hour, so we're just testing this year's kites, see if they hold up and uh, see which really is the best, the 14 or the 16 in really light winds, whether the 14 can generate a bit more power by moving it uh, quicker, or if the 16 is just big and powerful and can get you going in nothing. We've just got it up in the air, the 14 here. It's about four miles an hour at the moment. And it's flying really nicely. It's just sitting there. I think uh, even be fine on a twin tip in this wind. I had a really good session um, testing the 14 against the 16 NRG. Um, wind was quite light when we started, well, very, very light when we started on the 14. It's only about three, four, maybe max five. Um, Struggled a bit to get going, um, could, could ride but wasn't really planing very well. Um, tried all different boards, so I had to go on the twin tip and then swapped over to the race board. Um, was doable on the race board but was going, I was going downwind a bit. Um, it, was, it was quite difficult because we were right at high tide, so it had the, uh, the easterly current, so it was sucking down a bit, which did make it, did make it hard to go upwind, but just adds to the testing, which is good. Swapped over to the 16 after that and pretty much at the same time the wind was starting to pick up a bit so it had a couple more miles an hour and it made it super easy on the 16 just didn't even bother with the race board straight onto the twin tip and could uh, ride back up wind wind was about six miles an hour at that stage so yeah the 16 was super powerful and even when it was just above my head i could feel the lift there in that really really light wind off the water, a bit more wind, you're going to be able to get some uh, serious jumps and flows on this. Really, really, loads of lift. Yeah, it's amazing. Once I was off, that was it. Bombing along. So I had to go on the 14 again, swap back. Yeah, same, even in those light winds, I'd go straight up wind on the twin tip and on the race board, blasting up and down, all the way up wind. So, yeah, both kites super powerful. Um, comparing them to last year as well, much more lively. You can chuck it around a lot more, and I think more importantly, a lot more stable. Um, had a few practices just putting it up at 12, pushing the bar out, and it just floated around even when the wind was super light. So that's a real uh, upside for kind of most average riders. It's going to open it to uh, a lot more users, much much better stability and the liveliness you can. You can work it really nicely to a bit quicker in the turn. I think the, the new bridle shape helps a lot with that. So I think for, for the heavier guys, 80 kilos and over, the 16 meter, absolutely ideal. You're going to get out in some, uh, yeah, the winds I was out riding in, if you're heavy, you're going to be able to get going on the 16. Um, I think for under 80 kilos, the 14 is going to be the one that really works. Just gonna, you're going to be able to get out in those light winds. You can work it a bit to get yourself on the plane. Both kites create amazing apparent wind, so once you're on the plane, that's it, you're off. You don't need to work the kite, just builds and builds and builds as you just go faster and faster. Oh. 